In conjunction with the opening of the landmark 70th session of the General Assembly in September, representatives of member states gathered at UN headquarters in New York for the commencement of its six standing committees. Here we confront the injustices of poverty, marginalization and discrimination. We recognize the need to reduce inequalities and to protect our common home by changing unsustainable patterns of consumption and production and we identify the overwhelming need to address the politics of division, corruption and irresponsibility that fuel conflict and hold back development. Members of the second committee, tasked with issues related to economic growth and development, have their work cut out for them following the adoption of the Sustainable Development Goals. This committee will be responsible for streamlining both the major and specific policy questions that will lay the financial groundwork for the success of this new agenda. We will also be leading the efforts to align the agenda for this committee with the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development. I would like to assure you of our full support in our work on the agenda. Definitely it will require a paradigm shift. Uh, it will require from the member states and uh, UN agencies and international organizations to go beyond and above the existing models of development and to make uh, their work uh, applicable and in line with the outcome documents. The social and humanitarian matters of the Assembly are addressed by the third committee. With inclusion being one of the strongholds of this development agenda, speakers at the opening session urged the committee to uphold its promise to leave no one behind. Nine of the 17 goals are directly related to the work of our committee. Combating poverty and hunger, health, education, gender equality, access to water, decent jobs, reducing inequality, strengthening peace and justice. These are all issues on which our committee can and must take a real action. Despite having achieved the goal of uh, halving extreme poverty globally, more than one billion people are still living below the poverty line, and something like 2.2 billion people live uh, just uh, above the poverty uh, line, that is about $2 per day. In the year ahead, the second and third committee, supported by UNDESA, will be part of the global efforts by the UN and its member states to successfully implement the new development agenda and create a strong, unified framework for a sustainable world for all.